This is Reviewer03, bringing you a review of Cowboy Bebop, also known as the most overrated anime of all times. Oh crap, please don't kill me Mr. Corpse Walker. Now it doesn't matter where you go, a lot of people will say that they like this anime and that it's so great that they get orgasms just from watching it, or that it can turn dog crap into gold. And here lies the problem. People vote and rank according to how much they like something, and not objectively. As an anime reviewer, it's my job to rank animes not according to how much I like them, but to give an objective ranking based on their level of entertainment, animation, setting, originality, characters, soundtrack, and so on. Of course, the personal factor plays a role, but a reviewer does its best to minimize it. Got that? Great. So let's get started. Cowboy Bebop is set in the year 2071 in our solar system, which has been colonized through the use of a hyperspace gate network. Since crime is rampant, the authorities created a bounty system to deal with this situation. So the story of Cowboy Bebop revolves around a group of bounty hunters and their effort to catch criminals. The characters include Spike Spiegel, a former member of a major crime syndicate, Jet Black, a former police guy, Faye Valentine, the hottest 80-year-old woman in human history, Radical Edward, the strangest and most brilliant girl in the star system, and I'm the dog. Let's talk about these characters. When people do rankings of the coolest anime characters, Spike is always very high up. Some people ranked him even as number one, which is preposterous. This guy is cool, granted, but nothing special. He steals from pregnant women, he gets nearly killed by a drug junkie, he's afraid of refrigerators, and he gets his ass kicked by a kid and a fat flying clown. Jet and Faye don't leave much of an impression either, and even Ed, my favorite character, seems shallow. This could be because this anime doesn't have a plot. It's just a collection of random episodes of their lives as bounty hunters. The series doesn't have a goal, and you don't get the feeling that they get anywhere. They just wander around aimlessly, hoping to get money for food. Now some of you might say that the plot is Spike searching for his girl and getting revenge on Vicious. But that's not the plot, because Spike doesn't do anything to achieve this. He doesn't search for Julia, nor does he really plot his revenge against Vicious. He just reacts to the situation, and that's hardly a plot. So this anime is definitely too long. It would have been much better as a 12 or 13 episode anime. This was also an anime which had too few characters. If you count in the dog and Vicious, then this anime has six main characters. All other characters appear in just one or two episodes, and when they appear, then only for a few seconds. And six characters for a 26 episode anime is far too few. Even Fooly Cooly has more characters, and that's a six episode anime. Hell, even Blue Submarine number six has more characters, and that's a four episode anime. The animation is nothing special as well. I would say that it's roughly at the same level as the animation of Neon Genesis Evangelion. But Bebop was done two years after Evangelion, so it should have been a little better. As for the dub, the English dub is really good and perhaps even better than a Japanese dub, but it was hard to decide since both dubs were really good. And don't give me that crap that it isn't true. Who of you did watch all 26 episodes in Japanese and in English? To truly judge something, you have to be neutral. So if you compare American and Japanese dubs, you should be neither. Because if you're Japanese, you're likely to say, the lip movements and the body language is made for the Japanese language, so the Japanese dub is better. And as an American, you're likely to say, in America everything is better. The American dub is an improvement. As for the ending, that sucked big time. After being together for like 20 episodes, the group just falls apart, and we really don't get to know what ultimately happens to the various characters. So I'm giving this anime a good 3.5 out of 5 points. It's good, but really nothing special. It's probably so popular because it was made for an American audience in a time where there was not much competition. But considering its level of entertainment, comedy, action and drama, from an objective point of view, it really can't compare to the newer animes like Code Geass, the anime about apples, or Clanad. And don't tell me that I don't comprehend the complexity of this anime or its characters. I grasped the complexity of End of Evangelion in two days. Some people have to meditate for years before they get those endings. And now please excuse me. I have to fortify my house before the self-proclaimed Cowboy Bebop Anime Inquisition launches their attack.